In their way, the women you are about to meet are feminism's darkest side, doing what their male counterparts do, and sometimes doing it better or worse. These women are members of street gangs. And in the streets of Los Angeles, Harold Dow met two women who make Thelma and Louise look like amateurs. I make big What's money. up? I drive big cars. What are you doing back in jail? See some hands! I got one rifle, sawed off butt. Have a seat. What are you doing back in jail? Quiet! What happened? They just shot his uncle. Hold them right there. Here they come, just like I figured. I got my hand on the Kim, I'm Harold Dow. How you doing? You ever shoot anybody? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. I mean, yeah, I have. You say Not, it so matter-of-factly, like, Well, yeah. you know, I grew up in South Central L.A., you know, I grew up a gang member. I mean, you expect me to play patty cake or what? <laughs> so when you shot, did you hit anybody? I'm pretty sure I did, yeah, of course. You ever think about it? You worry about it? Do no. you? Because I look at it like this, it was him or me. And I'm here to tell the story. Kim Watson's story is a litany of alarming numbers. Five deuce. Five point two. In my neighborhood. A gang member since age 12. A dozen arrests. And now, at age 24, she has four children. Wheeler Jr. He's my firstborn. And a 10-year sentence in prison. Your rap sheet, how long is it? <laughs> as long as my arm. Kidnapping. Now that that one I remember well. That's mostly me, the robbery, 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 robbery. So you're a robber. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. And you smile. And I what? And you smile. Well, you know, I don't want you to think, oh God, she's cold hearted, because I'm not. But I gotta live, you know. So you I take live. what you want. Are you gonna give it to me? But it's like now women are becoming actors. Do you know how to shoot a gun? Yes. Oh, yeah. And they want a reputation. They want to be noticed. If you needed a gun, you can get one. Yes. Yeah. It ain't good enough to say, oh, I'm so-and-so old ladies no more. You know, you just rather just be yourself. I don't and, know. And what does that mean, be yourself? Be yourself. Get your own reputation. Get your own stripes. Earn your own stripes. Sylvia Nunn earned her gang member's stripes by committing crimes. How much? time have you spent behind bars? Oh, God. <laughs> I forget you. <laughs> um, which time? So many crimes, she recites the California Criminal Code like it's her autobiography. Robbery? 211. Burglaries? Mm-mm. Shootings? 187, murder. Um, you, you, you shot someone? That's what they said. Several times, that's what they said. Were they right? I don't know. Bullets don't have names. You know what You I'm seem saying? to take it all in stride, like that's... Because you're used to it. I mean, so many years, it's like I'm damn near 30 years old. And my father was in and out of the penitentiary all my life. My mother was the mother and father, you know. So that left us there. And ever since I was seven years old, I've been seeing people get killed. It, it, it don't even mean nothing to me no more. We're walking right now, somebody drive by and say that's the dude right there, shoot him in the head and kill him. It, it's just like, damn, they got another one of us. Do you think it's right or wrong to get involved in stick-ups, to rob people, drive-bys? I think it's wrong, but then it's called survival. You have to eat. You have to pay bills. You have to survive. You can't get it here, so you go out to the white folks' neighborhood and get it, one way or another. What about a job? What about a job? A job ain't a big thing with me. I got a gift for gab. I got a gift for gab. And I'm more of a leader than a follower. That shit, throw it up. <laughs> I taught half of them how to shoot around here. So when you used to get, get used to pulling a trigger on somebody, it, it, it's not hard to pick up a gun and, and just shoot, you know? It's not hard after a while. It becomes easy, common, and depending on the people that you're shooting at, 
And the reason for you doing it, it might even be fun. It was dark as death on the streets. My hands were all bloody from punches on the concrete. That's right. She said fun. And listen to these women gang members in the L.A. County Jail. It was fun. Beating up people? It. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. When you started getting involved at 12, 13 years old, I'm 25. If you had it to do over again, be honest. Yeah. You'd do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just fun. When, when I got a gun on you, anything I tell you to do, you're going to do it. Anything, you're going to do it. It's like, I'm running everything. I'm running this show. Shut up. Sit down. Shut up. Turn around. You know, it's just. It's fun in a way, and it's funny. That's funny, Kim? Come on. Yeah, because I've actually had guys piss on their cell. It's fun. It's just, I don't know. You know, it's, it's a rush. It's the excitement of just being in charge, and then you're scared because, God, what if the cops come? And it's like you're gambling with, you know. It's just, it's fun. It's exciting. It's exciting. A woman who does her drive by, I don't want to talk to. But yeah. there's not a style. Yeah, injuries. You can't even trust them. So do you think about death? No. You don't think about death? No. They want to live that way? They want to get killed or something? That's up to them. Yeah. So nothing bad's ever going to happen to Kim? <laughs> no. No? No, because negative thoughts bring negative results. Anytime I go into a robbery, I'm thinking, I'm already spending the money. I ain't even robbed you yet. OK, I'm going to go buy this and buy Because I'm already thinking, I got away. OK, were you thinking negatively the day you got arrested? No. To come here? No. That was just a lack of planning, really. <laughs> They shouldn't be running the streets. You know, stay at home. You know, that's a woman's place is at home. It's messed up when your mind is playing tricks on you. I ain't afraid to die. You know what I'm saying? They say life is after death anyway. You know? Even on your arm, you have a... Uh, it is death now that Sylvia Nunn lives say. for. Death for the gang member she believes murdered her brother. In love and memory of my bro, Junior. I got a brother in the grave with a bullet in the back of his head. You know? And I figure it ain't over till it's over. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do it. I'm saying until it be done, I just don't rest in peace. Right there. That's where I was stabbed, trying to get away from a gang fight. And you can see where the knife went in and then kind of drug across my skin. Do you want your children to grow up to be like the mother? No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, I don't. You say that so definitely. Because I don't. I don't never want my son to see the inside of a police car unless he's driving it legally. For now, Kim's children are in foster care. This is where a 22 went in my leg. This is where I was, you know, like, we used to break the tip off our knives. It's a better result. I was stuck right there. You can see where it's ragged like that. How many other Kim Watsons are there out there? Oh, God. It scare you. And then what are you going to do with the other little Kim that's seven years old while I'm talking? By the time I get killed, that Kim is 14 with a baby, and she's got a gun in her hand. Then what? And then when somebody kills her, there's another Kim. On and on. On and on and on and on. It's like a never-ending story. I think I got an ice pick cut on one of these legs, too, where I was stuck with an ice pick. Which one is it? But I lived. I'm here. I'm telling the story. But I know there's an ice pick somewhere here. That can't. Is that it? No. So this is, I mean, I'm trying to understand here. You know, I'm still trying to understand. This is OK? I don't know if it's OK or not, but it's way of life. If I could just stop breaking the law, I'd be all right. I've always seemed to be the one that got away. I don't know why, but it always seems to be the one that got away. <laughs>